what happened to all those old video games that filled the arcades and took all our quarters in the 70s and 80s? Well, they've surfaced in Mill Creek, and it's stirring up plenty of nostalgia. New specialist Andrew Wittenberg takes us to a new business that's cashing in on old habits. Right, Andrew? That's right. And remember before the days of an Xbox or a PlayStation in every house, Dave, we had to go to the arcades to get our video game fixed. Well, there is a new business here in the Mill Creek Holiday Area. It's trying to bring back all of the old classics and at the same time get kids of all ages out of the house. The Atomic Arcade. You might miss it if you blink driving down Highland Drive. It doesn't have a fancy marketing campaign. Its building is fairly modest. But inside, it's not just the games that will keep you coming back. It's the sounds that will make you feel like a kid again. Chris Wright is the owner. These machines are all his. He's been collecting them for years. Um, in my garage and in my basement and in my, uh, it's pretty much crammed in my house like crazy. This spring, he decided to transform his passion, which some might call an obsession, into cash. Quarters at a time. We're all used to playing video games from the comforts of our own couch these days, but something's missing, some part of the atmosphere. But here at the Atomic Arcade, you can get out of the house and actually get your hands on one of these games. They've got practically every single classic arcade game under the sun. He has all the classics like Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers, and Galaga. But he also has dozens of others. Oh, yeah. You might think kids of a different era would be the ones keeping right in business, but today's youth find it to be a refreshing change. All these games are new to them like they were to us when they came out. They, they're just as excited to see them as I was when I was a kid when they came out. And people come through the doors for a piece of nostalgia or to experience these classics for the first time. The emotions are still just as easy to see. Yeah, I need to put a punching bag in for them, I think, <laughs> to get so excited about it. A little Mario Brothers going on here just after 10.15, and hey, why not? Chris Wright says, hey, they stay open until midnight, most nights, 1 o'clock on Saturdays, and the family even has to help them out. Still has another job. Mom and Dad come and help run the uh, coin <laughs> machines during the middle of the day, guys.